Hey y'all, welcome back to another special edition of Hopped Up Beer Review, where we are going through the Costco Beer Garden Collection. And today is beer number five, the Goldener Hopfen from the Privet Brewery Eichbaum out of Mannheim, Germany. Thank you for joining us. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you an unprofessional, somewhat biased opinion about the beer that we are drinking and reviewing. We're back to do that once again. Be sure to like, subscribe, cheers, that notification bell. We would definitely appreciate that, and it is free to do. I've got Andy in the attic. I've got Jay. I am Ben. Gentlemen, what are we going to be sampling this evening? Golden or Hopfen? Very gold. Very colorful. Yeah, I like the can art. Let's crack it and go. All right, number five here. Yes. Out of the beer you hadn't shown off the box the last couple of... Uh... I am not carrying that box back up here to lift and maneuver into... Yeah. <laughs> Mine's like right here. <laughs> oh, why don't you show it two, off? Two feet away from me. You talk a great game. Maybe on the next one. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Says it is a strong lager. They definitely marketed it for the US or so the English speaking population on this one. Because cool it, drink it, enjoy it. And they definitely, you know, I was just getting in the the German beer mood you know it's got the pretzel it's got the weed and it's got the hops in the mug and so I just had to get my mug with it but it just screams german beer yeah. goldener hopfen is 7.3 percent so that's probably one of the stronger ones especially that looking like this i mean the attic lights make it look darker but this looks pretty golden yellow you know up, up in my attic it's quite it, it's see-through for sure they say it is a balance of sweet and bitter that's about all they had to say about the beer and goldener hopfen actually means golden hops All right. Yeah. The um, brewery, Privet Brewery Eichbaum, uh, is it actually a macro brewery, uh, according to Untapped and all, in Mannheim, Germany. And 1679, a Belgian man named Jean de uh, founded a small brew pub <laughs> named after the Germanized version of his family name, Eichbaum. So, and that's what the Jean du Jeune is, the Belgian, and hey, you get into Germanized, it's like, bum. Sounds so much alike. Uh, it is still, to this day, the oldest company in Mannheim, Germany. Wow. The Privet Brauer Eichbaum. Interesting. <laughs> so, with, so with them being a macro, are they owned still by the family, or did they get bought um, out? Didn't mention uh, being family owned. But well, we don't know that they're owned by like one of the big boys, I guess. It's, right. Yeah, that's kind of what I was asking. So, yep. Didn't. Um, yeah, I I couldn't find this much about this brewery. Okay. 
Maybe I'll dig some more if we got another one of some Ike bomb coming up in the in the calendar. In the calendar. In the collection. It's hard not to consider it a calendar given that we've done this mm-hmm. twice. <laughs> All right. Uh who's had this one? Nobody. Okay. Um I'll jump in and go first. Uh I know shocker, right, Jack? <laughs> Are you okay, Ben? Did you yeah, fall and okay. hit your head? No, I'm okay. Uh <laughs> I give you the night off. I'm going first. Um, so this one definitely has, at least the, the first few sips, definitely has a stronger feel to me than what we've had so far. I, I, for obvious reasons, it's, you know, two or 3% stronger beer. But I, I think that, you know, the the, the ABV kind of comes through on this one. Um, it's really interesting that, you know, we, we kind of, hit on this already that how kind of clear it is yet still that high ABV and whatnot, but I think it has a good flavor. It it definitely, the first sip, I was like trying to figure out what it was and it it almost, I'm not a wine drinker, uh, but it almost had like, like that's kind of where it took me, like maybe the sweetness of like a sips um, a little bit on the front end. It's mellowed now, so I don't get that at all. Um, but that was kind of the first sip or two, uh, kind of had that almost sweetness of like a wine or a, 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 you know, that kind of thing. Um, but it's calmed down and it's, it's, I think it's actually really, really good. It's clean. It's crisp. It's one I would like to get again if we could. Um, I'm going to give it a seven and a half. I think this one's nice. Jay, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Um, to me, it is a boozy macro lager. You know, it's the, the booze comes through on this one a little more so than any other lager that I can recall, unless it's like, and I've never, I don't know that I've ever had a barrel aged lager that I can recall. Uh, but it's, it's, definitely got that and i don't get i get the sweet in the description i don't get get the the bitter aspect as much um it it reminds me of basically if you were to take an american macro lager and make it a little sweeter and add some more booze to it so it's a seven for me yeah, I think barrel age was was the idea I was looking for that escaped me at the time, um, because that's I think that's a good description. It kind of kind of has that somewhat. Andy, Sir Attic, this is probably the booziest of all the German beers that we've had that I, that tastes boozy, and it's got kind of like a molasses type of like a. If you put uh, molasses in a um, bourbon barrel and then added it to the beer, it was, it, it's just the first sip, first two sips, sweet, like a sweet bomb. And it, you know, just made me think of a macro lager. Uh, it's gotten a little better as it gone by. It still has a that German taste, it, I guess the water, the yeast, you know, type of hops. But it's uh a little too sweet and all i think it um base and especially after having so many others from the previous year's calendars and even the ones so far in this collection just more than i want more than sweetness i want and you know, it's the heaviest one of the heavier tasting ones we've had um uh, six and a half for me it's just not appealing. Not appealing. I'm gonna drink it. Yeah. yeah. It's not appealing, but he's gonna drink all of it. Don't worry, fan. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna waste it. I mean, you didn't. You didn't even uh, pour out your favorite beer, banana bread beer, did you? I mean, you drank it too. I I suffer for this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
What do you say? What do you know? That's going to be a 7.0 for the Goldner Hopfin here in our, uh, what is this thing called? The Beer Garden Collection. Brewer's Advent Calendar is stuck in my head because we've done 48 of them or more. Um, but Beer Garden Collection, Costco box this year. Um, we'll see what what comes out next year with Kalia if they, they get back on the, uh, the Costco bandwagon or not. But uh, this is what we're doing for this year, so I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. Be sure to like, subscribe, cheers to that notification bell. Check us out on all the social media links down below in the description. Come say hey to Hopped Up Beer Review Discord server. If you picked up one of these Beer Garden Collection boxes, we want to see you in Discord so you can chat with us about it. Uh, if you have any interesting Hopped Up Beer Review merch, glassware, koozies, shirts, anything, we've got it there. Link below. And if you are interested in any of the equipment that we use to record this show or any of the glassware that we might purchase off of Amazon or other places, we've got links down below for that as well. With that, appreciate you checking out this video. For Andy and the Attic and Jay, I am Ben. Cheers, Cheers mates. mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. You can go to Goodwill. Maybe you find a glass like this. That's where I found it. Uh, you drink out of that? Yeah. I washed it. <laughs>